What could possibly make our spine look like Swiss cheese? Yesterday, I presented the case of a 65-year-old male who came to my office complaining of lower back pain. He had had pain that's become progressive over the past few months, and he was sent to physical therapy. When the pain did not improve, he had the CT scan. On the CT scan, we see diffuse lytic lesions within the bone of the spine, or basically all of the vertebral bodies have these holes within it. On the MRI of his lumbar spine that was also performed due to these findings, there is extensive lytic changes within all the bones of his lumbar spine, including multiple areas where he had compression fractures. Lytic lesions within the bone, including our spine, is usually a result of what's called multiple myeloma. This is a cancer or a malignancy within our bone marrow. Our bone marrow contains a type of cell called a plasma cell. This cell makes antibodies, which are a part of our immune system that helps us fight infection. When they become cancerous and grow out of control, this is called multiple myeloma. When these types of cells grow out of control, they make an abnormal amount of antibodies called monoclonal immunoglobulins or M protein. You can imagine if this type of cell grows significantly within our bone marrow, normal cells that lie within our bone marrow can become extremely low. That includes red blood cells, white blood cells, as well as platelets. That means patients can present with anemia or low blood cell counts, leukopenia or low white blood cell counts, or thrombocytopenia or low platelet counts. Okay, so why is there holes in the bones? That's because the myeloma cells make the osteoclasts work harder and osteoclasts break down bone. That means that our bones become softer, including our spine. That's why this patient presented with back pain because all the bones within his spine were becoming soft and he suffered multiple compression fractures. In fact, bone pain is one of the most common presenting signs of multiple myeloma. Fractured bones are one of the major problems that can happen in myeloma patients. And that's not just within the spine, but within any bone in our body. You can imagine if those bones are being eaten away, that they're more susceptible to fracture. Often multiple myeloma patients are treated by neurosurgeons as well as orthopedic surgeons. What else can happen? Hypercalcemia is often something that's found in myeloma patients and it's because of the same reason. The bone breakdown is creating an excess amount of calcium that becomes within our blood. Renal failure is another frequent complication in multiple myeloma patients. And that's because of the excess protein that forms because of all the above reasons that I mentioned will clog up our kidneys. So how do we diagnose multiple myeloma? Imaging tests can be helpful in the diagnosing multiple myeloma because it will show those diffuse lytic lesions that I showed in that patient's spine, as well as on this skull x-ray. The blood or the urine can also be analyzed to check for those M proteins that I mentioned earlier. A bone marrow biopsy is usually needed to confirm the diagnosis of myeloma. That's basically where we can place a needle within the bone and aspirate the bone marrow to check it for those malignant plasma cells. That's usually done from aspiration of the hip because that's where the most bone marrow is easily accessible. Most cases of myeloma are typically diagnosed between the ages of 50 to 70 years old. Treatment for multiple myeloma is typically by medications including targeted therapy and chemotherapy with or without steroids. This is usually started with induction therapy and that's followed by maintenance therapy to help prevent recurrence of the cancer. Many types of doctors may become involved in the care of a myeloma patient, including oncologists, nephrologists, which are kidney doctors, orthopedic surgeons, and neurosurgeons. Myeloma is very sensitive to radiation treatment, so radiation oncologists may also be involved in that patient's care. In our patient's case, he suffered extreme back pain due to multiple pathological compression fractures of his back. The severe fractures that he had within his back, we were able to treat with a procedure called a kyphoplasty. This is a procedure where we can place needles into that broken bone in the spine, and through those needles, we can do a procedure called osteocool, where basically we can use radiofrequency ablation to help kill those cancer cells. After the ablation is complete, we can then inject the bones of the spine with cement to help stabilize those fractures. It's a minimally invasive surgery that can provide significant immediate relief to patients with fractures. We also took a biopsy of that bone during the initial procedure to confirm the, his diagnosis of myeloma. Once the diagnosis was made, he was then initiated on his oncological treatments. He obtained pretty immediate relief of his back pain and is now in his chemotherapy regimen. Another case of patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.